Y'all going to say I didn't hurt this. Amen. But, amen. Y'all keep going back to Wendy's and getting them cheeseburgers and them McDonald's burgers. Some of y'all done, done downloaded that app so you get that 20% off of it. And then you say praise the Lord tonight. Do you love him? He's good. Yeah. In the book of Jude. Amen. The book of Jude. Amen. Jude. Pam's heard this more than all of you. She still ain't giving it. Amen. Amen. She's still praising the Lord over it. Amen. Sometimes God just gives you something you really like. It. Amen. It says, Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and the brother of James, to them that are sanctified. Now, I want you to think about this. Now, let's don't just blow past all this and just get going here. But let's look. I, he's just now saying exactly what I said. Amen. There's a, there's a, and I hate to use Butch's words, but Butch always says God's got a church and man's got a church. And I want you to think about that tonight. Amen. Amen. I want you to think about that when I read this to you. Amen. Because a lot of people is reading this word and they're, 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 they go to every day. There's people that read this word more than we do, but they don't even know what to read. Amen. Amen. Come on. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, now, Jude's not talking to just anybody here. He's not just telling anybody to pick this up and read it, but he says, to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. Come on. How many of y'all read the scripture? Many are called, but few are chosen. Come on. Uh, do you understand what that is? There's a lot of people, amen, that are out there that say I'm a Christian, but yeah. there's those that bear the name. Amen. They're not just called, they're chosen. Come we're on. chosen to bear the name of Christ. Amen. amen. We're, not just, we're not just called to be Christians. Come we're, on. we're called to be a special breed of Christian. Amen. 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 You know, we get made fun of, we get talked about, we get run down. We got the least crowd than any other church in the world. Amen. Amen. But we got more. Let me tell you something. We got more. We got more in a little crowd of people yeah. than a multitude of people has. Amen. Come on. And that's because we got the truth. Yes. And I want you to know that we got to love this truth. Amen. It ain't just something that we got. We can't, you know, you know, we say things sometimes like, uh, well, I know who Jesus is. We say that lightly. We need to know who Jesus yes. is. And we need to know that what we've got, what God has shown us, he ain't showed it to everybody. I don't know why he didn't show it to everybody. I don't know why everybody don't get the revelation. Uh -huh. Amen. Because once you see it, you can't unsee it. Amen. I don't care if you don't want to see it. Once you see it, you saw it. And you can't get rid of it. It's in your mind. Because you are a chosen people. One writer said you're a chosen generation. A royal priesthood, a holy people, amen. Royal. What we got here does not appeal to the world, but it appeals unto God. So remember that Jude here is talking, everybody say to me. Jude's talking to us, okay? Now, in every book that I read in this Bible, I know God is talking to us. But there's some places I believe with all of my heart. Where the expression to me is given. Yeah, come on. It's for you too, but I'm just saying I feel that God is absolutely like nobody can see this like I see it. Do you understand? You ever felt that way? Yes, yeah, come on. Amen. Amen. It says, Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Beloved, now here's where I want to preach to you from. It says, Beloved, when I when I gave all diligence to write unto you. Of the common salvation. I want you to listen to that. The common salvation. It was needful for me to write unto you. Uh -huh. Come on. And exhort you. Yeah. That you should earnestly contend for the faith. Which was once delivered unto the saints. Amen. For there are certain men crept in unawares. Yeah. Unawares. Unawares. That's more than one now. Amen. That's more than one, and it's unknown. You won't know it. Come on. Do you understand? You don't know it when you get a hold of it. You don't know it. It's not until you know it you got to get rid of it. Amen. Come on. You understand Amen. what I'm saying? Amen. I remember one time I was working on a, a, a wired up a, a, a house, and, and I thought that the breaker was not, but when I got a hold of the wire, I said, "Who?" 
that's got power on it. It wasn't until I got a hold of it. Yeah. You understand? You understand what I'm yeah. saying? So don't just blow through this word and say, okay. Uh, that's right. You got to know it. Because these, these men are crept in unawares, bringing unawares. Yeah. That is things that you do not know. Come on. You do not know. Come on. Who were be before of old ordained. These ain't just normal men. They're yeah. ordained. Yeah. Come on. I feel the Holy Ghost. Amen. Come on, brother. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly men turning the grace of God into lasciviousness. Yep. Yeah. How do you say that? And denying the, old, denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm going to preach to you tonight, but I'm going to change the title of my message to Fight for the Original. Yeah. Amen. That's what I'm going to preach to you tonight. Yeah. Fighting for the Original. Yeah. Now, I want you to understand something here. And I looked this up, and I got notes. Most time, I can't even see them notes. It's all right. Like notes. Amen. The Greek phrase to contend earnestly translates to strive with extreme intensity to win a victory in a physical competition. Amen. So what I'm saying here tonight is when Jude began to pin this down. Yeah. Amen. And he began to write this and he began to copy this down and the Holy Ghost was upon him. Yeah. Amen. He might have talked in tongues. He might have run around his desk. He might have shouted a little bit. Yeah. Amen. He might have raised his hand and wiped his eyes and blowed his nose because the Holy Ghost was upon him. Amen. And he began to write this down and he began to write it. He felt an urgency. Yeah. Amen. In his soul like never before. He felt Amen. As he pinned this down, amen, Brother J.R., that he was saying to us, no matter what comes your way, no matter what trial comes your way, yeah, come no matter what temptation comes your way, no matter what is offered to you to turn from what you believe come and what on. you've been taught yeah. and every revelation that you've ever had, don't you dare turn from what you've been taught and what God has shown you. Yeah. Don't let nobody persuade you, no matter how much money they offer you no matter how nice of a car or how big of a church or how big of a congregation don't you dare let go of what I'm getting ready to tell you because it's life and it's death amen what Jude was writing here was to tell you no matter what comes your way hold on hold on hold on hold fast pull it in and hold it when you love something you'll put it up and you'll hold it close to yeah. you all them documents you got at the house that are important you put them in the same place amen even sometimes boxes in case the house catches on fire and it don't burn up you still got your documents yeah. amen it's because you cherish these things with everything that is within you and if I can get you to grasp Amen. What is taking place here tonight? Uh, you'll have a great revelation. Uh, you'll have a great, amen, something to go home on uh, yeah. and be excited about because Jude is saying here, uh, he's saying you sanctified people. Amen. The sanctified people that God's given mercy and He's given grace. I'm going to tell you something. Mercy and grace ain't given to everybody. Amen. Mercy and grace ain't been given to everybody. But He said for the ones that's been sanctified and the ones that's been called and the ones that's been chosen, God has given you grace. He's given you mercy. He's given you peace. They want to know how we deal with what we deal with. Oh, I don't know how to explain it. All I can say to you tonight is, amen, peace. It passes all understanding. I don't know why, but God give it to me. Amen. Come on. He give it to me. Thank you, Lord. He give it to me. He give it to me. He give it to me in me 
by the multitudes. Uh, tomorrow, God's going to give me mercy. Uh, and God's going to give me grace. Uh, and he's going to love me more tomorrow than he did today. Uh, even when I fall, he's going to pick me up. Uh, he's going to dust me off. Uh, amen. But I want you to understand something here. Jude begins to write about a struggle uh, that is getting ready to take place. And I know that there was things going on here. Uh, amen. If we look back in history and in time we'll find that the church was in a mess right here. Uh Amen. But I want you to know something. Jude did not just pin this down. Uh, amen. For a first century bunch of people. Uh, he didn't just write this down. Amen. For our mothers and our grandmothers and our great grandmothers. Uh, he didn't just write this down. Uh, but he wrote this down so that when this day, uh, 2024, rolled around, uh, that the people of God would have something uh, to look back on. Uh, and grab a hold yeah. knowing that the enemy has came down and he's got great wrath oh. and it's time is winding up and things are getting harder oh. time's getting shorter yeah. but he said don't quit fighting for the faith Amen. don't stop fighting for the faith Amen. now there's two types of faith and I want you to understand that I'm not talking about the faith that it takes for you to get healed. I'm not talking about that kind of faith. Jude's not talking about that kind of faith. He's not telling you to fight and contend for faith to get you healed. Your healing is already paid for. Am I right? If I'm wrong, you just stop me any moment. And I'll sit back down and get my seats and go home and give you your pawpaws and we'll pawpaw on down the road. Uh, but there's two types of faith here. Uh, and what Jude is telling us here is don't contend uh, for the faith for you to be healed. That's not what he's talking about. Uh, your healing was paid for. Uh, yeah. If Jesus never shows his face again, uh, your the blood was shed for your healing. Uh, yeah. The stripes, well, I'll be honest with you, before Christ died on the cross of Calvary, your sickness was already paid for uh, because he was strapped in power at all. Uh, and every strap that he took, uh, amen, was for the healing of our bodies. Uh, amen. Every, every last whipping that yeah. he got. Uh, amen. It was, uh, cancer ain't no problem for him. Uh, heart disease ain't nothing for him. Uh, diabetes ain't nothing for him. Yeah, uh, being burned up ain't nothing for him. Uh, amen. Because he paid it all uh, right there uh, in Pilate's Hall. Uh, and all you gotta do is uh, Believe the word. And if you believe the word, it can be you too that Amen. receive it. Thank you, Lord. Amen. But what he's saying here is to earnestly contend for the faith. Uh, what faith is he talking about? Uh, what faith is he talking about? He's talking about belief. Uh, that's exactly what he's writing here. Uh, He's talking about belief. That's what they call faith. Yeah. When you go to the hospital, amen, and you get put in the hospital, uh, they'll ask you what religion you are uh, or what faith you are. Uh, some say Baptist, some say Presbyterian, some say Catholic, uh, some say I ain't got no religion. Uh, amen. And some will say I'm apostolic or I'm Jesus' name. I told them I was Jesus' name and they looked at me. Uh, amen. But that's what I am. I'm Jesus' name. Uh, I don't have a faith other than Jesus. Amen. Amen. I don't have, I, I love everybody. And I won't preach no different to them than I preach to you. But I got a faith that is not in doctrine, Amen. but it's in Christ Jesus, yeah. the chief cornerstone. Amen. 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 We, we are living here. And Jude begins to tell us to earnestly. Now he said earnestly. Uh, contend for the faith. Now some people will ask me. Why are you always wanting to argue about what the way people believe? Uh, I've had people ask me. Why do you uh, question the Baptist? Uh, and why do you question the church of God? Uh, and why do you question really anybody that's not of the faith? Uh, we question them and they'll say, why 
why do you do this? Uh, I say we do this because she said, well, they, they, they'll say we don't, they don't argue with you or they don't, they don't contest you or they don't try you or they don't want to know what we believe. Amen. They ain't got nothing to fight with. Amen. They ain't got nothing to stand with. Oh, I know not all of them's bad people. I'm not saying that. I think they're all good people. And if they're going to church, they got to be something about them. Amen. That's good. Amen. But what Jude is saying here is, he's saying they some that have got the faith. Yeah. And you've got to earnestly contend for the Amen. faith that was Amen. one time, one time once delivered unto the saints. Amen. Now we got another faith. Now we got multiple faiths. Now we got faiths of about 2,000 faiths in America, not counting other countries. Hey, then the Buddhists have over 2,000 gods themselves. Lord, they must be messed up. Amen. I have to have 2,000 gods. Uh, amen. But the, what Jude was telling us here, uh, he was telling us here, he said there's going to come a time. Uh, there's coming a time that you're going to have to fight for what you believe in. Uh, now, I don't believe everybody's going to get in trouble. Uh, but I believe the true church is getting ready to face a time like they've never seen. And I believe that. And I know if you if you don't watch any kind of social media or you don't watch no kind of TV or any kind of news or anything like that, sometimes you don't see exactly what's going on in the world. You're kind of sheltered away from it. But when you, when you turn your TV on and they're talking about things like abortion and they're talking about now how that they're going to Wait, the one to wait until the baby's full term, uh, and the woman delivers the baby and has it out, and lays it on the table. Then, uh, then the mother can decide. Now, I don't know which sides for what or whatever. Uh, that don't matter to me. The thing of it is that it's entered into somebody's mind, uh, amen, to take this baby's life. Uh, that's sad. Uh, and if you don't tell me tonight that this world is messed up uh, and the devil ain't the god of this world. Uh, then I need to hit an altar somewhere uh, because that's a, just a little touch. Uh, yeah. Amen. About the church. Uh, amen. Is looking at. Come on. Yeah. And if they don't care to kill a little baby, they ain't gonna kill care to kill you. Amen. 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 They ain't gonna care to lock your church door. Uh, yeah. They ain't gonna care to take your Bible from your hand. Uh, and I've said it a thousand times. Uh, they're already taking your Bible out of your hand. Uh, yeah. There's so many different, amen, copies of everything that you can think of in the international version, uh, New King James yeah. Version. Uh, I don't even know what kind of versions they are. Uh, all I know is this is the book. Uh, yeah. If it's anything other than a King James oh, Bible, oh, amen, it ain't nothing but a book. Uh, you guys as well know that there's my old Harry Potter. It's not true. And if it's true, it's not new. Amen. Amen. So we don't need any new thing. But I do believe tonight uh, that we are in the end time and we are facing things like we've never seen before. Uh, I believe, and I'm going to say it, I believe we're fighting spirits that we ain't never fought before. Uh, things will just come up on you. don't know where they Amen. even came Amen. from. Uh, Amen. You can be in a good mood and, 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 and oh, I hope I don't get in trouble on, here. Uh, Amen. You can be in a good mood and all of a sudden you feel like, uh, amen, you just mad or you just on. upset or something just didn't rub you the right way. On, amen. Man. You know that spirit. Uh, amen. I believe with all my heart that we're facing. Uh, amen. Ephesians chapter 4. Uh, amen. Where he began to write or chapter 6. Uh, where he began to write uh, that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. Uh, but against principalities uh, and powers, uh, spiritual wickedness uh, in high place, the air. Uh, that's where the fight's at. Uh, it's not with me and you. It's in the air. Amen. Come on. It's in the air. Yeah. Amen. Daniel, the Bible says that Daniel fought the priest's prayer. 
Amen. They fought the angels. David, Daniel didn't fight the prince of Persia. Come on. Uh, or the prince of Grecia. The answer uh, that God was sending back to Daniel uh, was being fought in the air. Uh, we didn't see it. Daniel didn't see it. Amen. He just kept on asking. He kept on asking even after the answer was sent back. Lord have mercy. And so many people say, don't oh, ask one time, don't ask no more. I'm going to keep asking until I get what I need. I'm going to keep answering. I'm going to keep asking until God either says yes or God says no. I'm a firm believer in the ask. Ask and you shall receive. Amen. I believe that. We're fighting against principalities and powers of the air, spiritual wickedness in high places, and that's that's in a place that you cannot see. That's a battle that is going on that you can't see. Amen. The angel said, "I fought the prince of Persia, and I fought against the prince of Grecia." Oh Lord, have mercy! If they were fighting the prince of Persia and the prince of Grecia then that far back, how? much more are they fighting today? Somebody said, why don't God answer us? Maybe the answer is coming, but there's a battle. Amen. Why don't we see God move like we need to? It ain't that God don't want to move. It's the principalities and the powers of the air that is fighting against the will and the power of God. But Jesus said the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. Who's the church? The those that contend for the faith. Those that contend for the faith. Not just anybody. Not just anything. Now, I know that sounds cruel. And that sounds mean. And that sounds harsh. But I'm going to tell you something here. It's something how Jude's book was put in here right before Revelations. Yeah. The last book before Revelations. Jude. One, one chapter. One book, one chapter. And if you read this whole chapter, you'll find that Jude is telling you all through this book to contend, yeah. to fight for that which was delivered unto the saints. Yeah. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but a lot of things have changed over the years. You see, when people change things, they don't always change things out in the open. But things are changed in secret. That's why the word said everything that's done in secret shall be brought to light. I always thought that was for the sinner. That's for the church. Everything that's done in secret shall be brought to light. Everything done in darkness shall be brought to light. Everything done in the house shall be shadowed from the house. That is, there's coming a revelation time. There's coming a revealing time. There's coming a time with those, uh, amen, that are playing church. Amen. Amen, there's a time coming. I'm telling you, there's a separate. He said, let the wheat and the tare grow together. Uh, and he would separate them in the end. I'm telling you, we're facing a time, uh, amen, and I believe we've already seen some of it. Uh, I believe this COVID thing done a lot of separating. Uh, and maybe God did use that. Uh, or maybe the devil used it. Uh, but this one thing I know, uh, it scared some people put out of the church. Uh, problem or is that a spiritual problem? Come on. Amen. I believe it's a spiritual problem. Yeah. It's not just a disease and yes, COVID is bad. Uh-huh. And it's still out there and it's still bad. Yeah. And it still makes you sick and it still can kill and it can still do all these things. But you so caught up in what it can still do you forgot that God's still the God of the heavens. Yeah. He's still the God that sits on the throne and the earth is his footstool. He knows the very contents of our heart. He knows what we have need of even before we ask. He knows the heavens. He spread the heavens out. And he put the stars out. And he hooked the world upon nothing. Job said he passed before me. And the hairs of my head stood up on me. Who's bigger? God is bigger. We're facing the end time. Now here's what God gave me. 
She said to earnestly contend for the faith. Now I'm going to slow down here because I want you to get this. He said to contend for what? A common salvation. What was that common salvation? Sanctification. That common salvation was sanctification. Set apart by God. Sanctified by the Word of God. And set apart. Well, now we have a present salvation. Now, if you don't believe this, you can go all the way back and ask John. I believe it was John. I believe he wrote in that book there, one, two, or three, he wrote in there and said, amen, that they would come preaching another Jesus. And he said, if they do, don't welcome them in. Don't accept them. He said, I don't care if it's a nice looking evangelist or a fine pastor or if it's an angel from heaven huh, can preaching any other gospel. Let him be a curse. We've stopped preaching sanctification. People don't even know what it is. They don't know how to be sanctified. They're so wrapped up in the world and the ways of the world and the traditions of the world that they don't know how to get away from it. You can sanctify the outside, uh -huh. but if the inside ain't sanctified, the out outside is in vain. Amen. That's right. Say amen, church. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. amen. God amen. woke me up the other night. Amen. I was going to teach Sunday school, and I was praying, God, give me something teaching Sunday school. God, give me something teaching Sunday school. He woke me up. He said, I want you to preach on worship. I'm going to teach on worship. I said, worship? Everybody knows that. That ain't worship. Come on. Worship. No, sir. See how ignorant I am? Come on, brother. That's why I say it's so much good about Brother Willis. I'm an idiot. Come on. Amen. Come on. He began to take me into the letter of the word and begin to show me what worship is. Uh -huh. You want to know what it is? Come to Sunday school and I'll tell you. Come on. Amen. <laughs> he said for us to contend for the faith. Yeah. What faith? The faith that was once delivered unto the saints. Us. Everybody say us. 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 You can't help nobody that ain't in this church. That's right. Amen. You, I mean, you can go down there and you can knock on the door and you can invite them to church, and that's good. We ought to be doing it. Yes, sir. We ought to be trying to bust them in here. The Baptists are busting them in. Why can't we? Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Let's bust them in. Let's do whatever we can do to get them to the house of God. But I'm going to tell you something. Unless they get it, they'll not stay. Amen. I don't care how much you preach to them to be holy and to be sanctified and to be set apart and to be different from the world Amen. until they get it. It, they'll not do it yeah. until they get revelation yeah. and see how much good it would be for them to get rid of that cigarette, yeah. spit that deep of stuff out, yeah. amen, and do it for God. They won't see the power in it. Amen. Right, brother. That's good for you. Come on. Now there's another faith. There's another faith that has been delivered unto the saints. There's more than one. There's thousands. There's thousands, it says. You can commit adultery, just come to church. Uh -huh. <coughs> well, I'll tell you, you can commit adultery and come to church, but you better get right and stop committing adultery. Amen. Okay, is that all right? That's right. I can tell you this, you can kick your toe and cuss. But you better get to an altar and find how to get that out of your mouth Amen. and just stop saying it. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. We don't get all cleaned up. Ain't nobody ever went down to the river. Let me tell you what I done. I went down to the river the other day and I throwed that bait out there. And man, it's a good one. Man, I was letting it float down there and used to work in that hook, you know. All of a sudden, bam! Man, I reeled that in and I caught a bass about that big. It was already mounted to a nice piece of oak. <laughs> it already had my main tag on. Oh, yeah. Huh? That's good. Now, how many of y'all ever went down and caught a fish like that? You don't catch them like that, do you, JR? No. But we want to catch them like that. Yeah. You know why? Because we don't want to teach them to earn us. We're not patient enough. Amen. Oh, Lord, let us see that. Come on. Not, we're not patient enough to deal with their ungodliness until they can see that they need sanctified and set apart. Amen. Yeah. Come on, brother. I ain't never went down there and caught a fish like that. 
But we want a real men. We want them all cleaned up and yeah. all ready to go. And just be, you know, just go home. And all I've got to do is tell Pam to move that home and tear. And let me put this big five-pound bass on the wall. Amen. It don't work that way. No. But there's another salvation out there. There's another salvation out there that says you can do what you want to do. Just come and pay your tithes. Yeah. 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 Amen. Come pay your tithe. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. Some of y'all that never wasn't in this, I was in this when I didn't even know I was in it. Yeah. <laughs> I was just a little bitty thing. Yeah. I was living on that little girl back there, yeah. sitting on the pews. Amen. And I'm going to tell you what happened. There's a lot of foolishness went on. Amen. And it hurt. If anybody can bear witness to this, you say amen, so I don't feel so all well, alone. There was so much foolishness that went on that it hurt the church. Mm -hmm. It hurt the church and it caused people to run another direction. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let me tell you something. And I'm going to say this. Everything that talks in tongues don't have the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Everything that jukes and jives don't have the Holy Ghost. Amen. See, we look at it if they talk in tongues and they shout and they run, they got it. No, they don't. Because I've shouted and I've run and not had it. Come on. And some of y'all have too if you just admit to it. Yes. You see, there's another gospel out there that has mocked the true church. Come on. They're saying you can do what you want to do. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I'm preaching this to you because I don't want you to get entangled in this. Amen. And that's why Jude is putting this out. He's telling you to earnestly contend for the faith. Amen. He didn't say earnestly contend for the denomination. No, he didn't. He didn't say earnestly contend for the local pastor. Amen. But he said to earnestly contend for the faith. Amen. Okay. He said... Contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Now there's another faith Come on. that was later developed by other saints. I can prove this. I believe it was John again. He said, they came out from who? Us. They came out from us. Come on. Amen. They came out from us. Yeah. They came out from us uh -huh. because they never were of us. That's right. They come in and they learn what we do. Yeah. They learn the, the motions. They learn how to dance. They learn how to shout. Amen. They learn how to do this and, and commit fornication out in the parking lot. Uh -huh. They learn how to do all these things. Yeah. But they never were of us. They came in and sat among us, but they never were of us. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, Thank you, There's thousands and hundreds of thousands that says I'm a Christian, but they're not of us. Amen. Come on. Yeah. Now, if I'm wrong, I guess I'll be in hell. But I'm going to tell you something, honey. They some that came out even from among us that believed the truth. Uh -huh. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Preach it. They came out from us because we don't have enough to suffice them. Amen. We don't have a big crowd. Amen. We don't have the best music. Amen. We don't have the big offering. Uh, we don't have the flashy suits. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. A suit don't make you a preacher, no. Amen. Amen. Uh, amen. Just like you put rabbit ears on a donkey and he's still a donkey. He ain't no rabbit. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. They come out from among us to gain popularity. Amen. They come among, out from among us to gain worldly gain. Uh, the Bible says that they would preach his name amen for benefits. Amen. I'm going to preach it. Preach it. Right. I'm going to preach it. It's true. Preach it. They went out from among us to gain that population. Amen. Yeah. Because you know how it is. The church, they ask you, how was church? Oh, that's pretty good. They left but 10 people there. Come on, brother. How was church? Hey, it's all right, man. He said, it wasn't about 15 people there. 
So we in this church determine good or bad by who shows up. That's right. Amen. Come on. God shows up. Come, Come on. on. He told us in his word. He said, if two or three are gathered together in my name, I'll be in the midst. Yeah. So, I mean, I remember going to church when I was a little boy. It wasn't nothing but the preacher, the pastor, and a couple of little old kids. Come on. You know what they did? They yeah. had church. Yeah. yeah. They shouted and they run the aisles and they danced and spoke in tongues. People laid out in the well. Oh, people, a person laid out in the floor. <laughs> Amen. But God moved. Yeah. God moved. We put a, we put a, 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 a what's that word I'm looking for? Hey man, we put a, a, a spectacle upon it. Yeah. We put a we put a thing upon it to where we measure whether God yeah. is good or God ain't good. Yeah. If we get a check in the mail, God's good. If we don't, <laughs> come on. Man. Every time we pull in the post office, I tell Pam, I give her go get that big check. Baby. I know that she said you're crazy. <laughs> she said, like, then she looked back and said, you expecting something? <laughs> I said, go get that big check, baby. Every time, don't hug. Yeah. Every time I do. Every time I do. Boy, when she comes out that door, I crack it one and say, Woo! You're going to check the day. <laughs> People measure God by, the, by what's going on in your life. Yep. Yeah. God's good if you got everything. Uh -huh. God's good if the kids are acting right. Yeah. The little Johnny down the road smoking dope, God ain't no good. Right. I'm going to tell you something. If little Johnny smokes dope until he don't know his ABCs no more, God's still good. Amen. God's not measured by things. God is measured by his name. And the Bible says he has all power in heaven and in earth. In earth. In earth. God can do what he wants to do. Right. That's right. He's God. Come on, brother. It says, it says that these men crept in unawares. There was a time we had great men. We still do. Don't get me wrong. We still got great men. Men of faith. Full of the Holy Ghost. Godly men. You know how you know they was godly? Let me tell you how you know that's godly. Because when you went down to the pit pack to get a dozen eggs and you run into old brother so and so, he looked like he just come out of the church house. Amen. Wasn't no difference in him. Amen. You'd say, I need prayer. He'd say, Hallelujah. Take it, brother. Amen. Come on. They didn't care. No, they didn't have anything to hide. Now we're afraid. Come on. Oh, I have preachers all the time. They call me and say, Brother, I need to preach. Hey, this old boy called me on and said, I need to preach so bad. I got to preach for you. Tell me to preach. I said, you really want to preach, man? He said, yeah, man, I want to preach. I said, you got a truck, don't you? I sucked him right. I said, you got a truck? He said, yeah, I got a truck, man. I said, you got some nice dress clothes? He said, yeah. I said, put them grass, nice dress clothes on. Come up here and get me. I said, I got a PA system. Amen. And we'll, we'll go down the road, get in the back of your truck, put that speaker in the back of your truck, give you a mic, and you can preach till you pass out. I said, when you pass out, I'll get the mic and I'll preach till I pass out. We look like two drunks. I said, oh, man, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. You don't want to preach You know why I don't want to do it? Ain't nobody there to see him. Amen. Come on. Ain't nobody there to see him. Yeah. You don't think that we ain't in a dog, man. You don't think we ain't in a mess. You don't think we ain't in a mess. You don't think that the church ain't, in, ain't, ain't got problems in. You don't think, hey man, that the devil ain't crept in. Yeah. Hey man, all they want is to be seen. That's it. All they want is to be seen. I read a story, hey man, about a man who preached in the prison. Amen. And it wasn't nobody but him and one other fellow. That's just right. like me and that guy. That's right. Yeah. Uh, just like me and that guy. But the thing about it was, we was in a big church. Because we didn't have no chains or shackles on our hands. And we didn't have no door to hold us in. But I'm going to tell you something. When all hell fell on Paul and Silas, they sung yeah. and they preached yeah. and they praised God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And the earth shook and the prison doors was open. And a great revival yeah. came out of a local jail. Yeah. That's right. Sure did. We're going to have to contend for the faith. Corrupt men. 
Corrupt me. Corrupt me. Corrupt preachers. They sing songs now. You don't know if they're talking about their wife or they're talking about Jesus. Come, Come on. on. Amen. 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 That's Amen. the truth. You don't know if they love with their baby or their Jesus. Amen. Huh? Come on. It's garbage. That's exactly garbage. what it is. Come on, brother. Honey, when you start feeling that old time feeling. Come on. Hey, man, that you used to feel when you go around them bars uh-huh. and them honky talks and them, them big rock and roll concerts. Yeah, when you yeah. start feeling that, when you listen to a so-called gospel song, you better cut it off yeah. because yeah. they spirits attached to that. Yeah. They, oh, yeah. 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 they spirits attached yes, to that. But that's is. Christian. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's Christian. No, no, no. That's godly. No, no, no. Huh? I know people won't go to the church, but they'll run to one of them concerts. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What spirit are they in? Come on. Huh? Who's driving that bus? Amen. Who's driving that bus? Come on, brother. Who's leading them? Amen. Who's leading them? Where is he leading them to? Right. Me and unaware. Godly men. Corrupt me. Corrupt me. Unaware. I wrote this down. I didn't want to forget. I don't want to forget you. And I get home and hang it on my wall. Yeah. Because I don't want to forget. Turn the grace of God into lasciviousness. Uh-huh. I can't say that word. That's the best as it gets for me. Amen. Right. Two words I can't say, and that's suspense. <laughs> and lasciviousness. <laughs> oh, well, hey, so, on, hey, we know what you mean. God for you. Let me tell you what specific he is. That's right. Amen. Sorry, right after that, church. That's we all right. Amen. Right. Hey, we ought to win. That's right. I looked up and see the, the listeners. Yeah, come on, brother. You know what the civicists mean? Come on, brother. It's an immoral act. Yeah. It's an immoral act of conduct that can be led to sexual perversion. Lord have mercy. Come on, brother. Yeah. It's all turning into. I remember when I was a boy, they showed their feet, they backsliding. Amen. Uh, Come on. I ain't kidding you. You think I'm kidding you? I'm not kidding you. Amen. They didn't show their watch or their timepiece. Amen. Tell you right now, there's so much that has changed. Yeah. Amen. So much has crept in unaware. Amen. Amen. You, and here's the thing. It don't bother me. Yeah. That's what it says. Come on, what they say. Yeah. Don't bother me. It don't bother me. Uh-huh. It don't bother you to eat chicken liver. I but I'm cute when I got it. <laughs> yeah. 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 I wouldn't eat that. If that's the last thing on this earth, I'd go on a lifetime fast. <laughs> I just don't like it. No. So should I eat it? Because he likes it? No. <laughs> it don't bother me. Never seen a time where nothing bothers anybody. That's it. But you let something go wrong and they're tore all the pieces. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Yeah. That's right. You let little Johnny come home drunk and they're all my baby. Uh, I live for God better than anybody in the church. And God let little Johnny get drunk. Blame God. Come on, brother. I'll tell you why little Johnny got drunk. Little Johnny got drunk because things are so strict at home he can't stand it. Come on. Huh? Oh, yeah, when the cat's away, the mice will play. I couldn't wait to get down the road and buy a cigarette. <laughs> didn't even know how to smoke that time, did you? Come on, brother. My daddy come home one day, come, come down the road one day, and there I sit with a big old long cigarette. Mm-hmm. That boy said, your daddy's coming. And I said, good God, I threw that thing down, and I stomped it, and rubbed it in the ground, and stuck it under the porch. <laughs> He covered the, cover the road. He went. I got up and I went over there. And he said, You been smoking? I said, No, I don't smoke. I get beat to death. He said, Let me smell your fingers. Oh. He whipped me 
from where I was to where I was going. <laughs> Through the gate, down the steps, up the steps, across the porch, into the house. Amen. Amen. He could have said, little Robbie don't know no better. Yeah. He could have let that creep in. Yeah. He could have let that creep in. Yes. And I'm going to tell you something. We've got to watch. I'm just about done. We've got to watch. But we don't let little things creep in our house. Yeah. Man, right. I'm going to tell y'all a little something. I just built a new church up in Y'all been there. Y'all know. If we're trying to get it finished. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to sit down. When I built that church, every hole I cut the floor, I put the pipe through the floor, and I foamed around it. Every crack that was put in there, that's the, the, the studs that sit on the walls, they had the little space there between the, the, the metal building and the crack. So all that, I stuffed full of research. Every little hole, I even got some good of foam that I went and bought one with the trigger on it. Yeah. Fill them holes up. Everywhere in there. You know why I done that, son? I done that not to save on the power bill. Not to save on the cool bill. Yeah. Do what? To keep any mice. Ooh. I hate them mice. <laughs> keep any mice or any bugs or any spiders from getting in. Guess what I caught the other day at the church? I got mad. I said, Dad, go on that little devil. I told Pam, I said, how in the world did that thing get in here? She said, Robbie, they can get in here. <laughs> I got a little crack in the door. I got a little crack in the door over the kitchen. She said, like, look at that crack. I showed him all these cracks. I said, I don't believe that. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Any word they can get that little mouth at, they get in, they they'll eat till they get all the way through. Yeah. So them little things that eat the chew yeah. and are constantly on their mind and constantly eating at you, you got to cast them down. Amen. Amen. You know what I've done? I put out a glue trap. <laughs> Come on, God. I wanted to catch that sucker alive. Amen. I didn't want him dying and running off and sneaking up the church. Oh, Amen. Yeah. I put that glue trap out. And guess who? Who guess who got in? He did. Amen. Huh? I got him. Yes. I took him out there and I put him in the dumpster. Let me tell you something. There's things that's coming at us that is worse than that little mouse. Amen. There's things that's coming at us. We think it will not touch us. It cannot touch us. We're going to church every night. We're praying every day. We're reading every day. We're, we're, doing, we're living the life. We're dressing the life. We're, we're portraying ourselves as godly men, and I think we should. Amen. I think we ought to do everything we can do to portray Christ. Amen. 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 And our outer and our inner appearance. Amen. 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 But I'm going to tell you something. No matter how close you get to God, You're going to say, I don't know him. Peter had the keys to the kingdom. Yes. And he denied Christ. Why? Did he not believe in Christ? Did he not believe the fishes and the loaves? I said, man, if Jesus come down and do one of the miracles in front of me, I'm a believer forever. You let him show up on my boat and tell me to put the net down on this side and I drop it down and bring it up. And there's so much fish in that thing I can't hardly get in the boat. I'm the winner. You got me. There comes a time that you got to believe God, not just for the works. That's right. That's right. Not just for the works. That's right. Because the enemy's coming in. He's coming in. He's coming in. We, we, we are now facing the time of the Antichrist. Now I know some people don't believe in that. Some people don't believe. Oh, we're going to be gone down here, preacher. We might be. 
that we might not be. That's right. Why not be ready? Why not be ready either way? Why not have enough goods to make it through the night? Why not have enough oil to make it through the night? Why not have what you say you got and not be drawn away by every little wind and doctrine? I'm done. Let's stay here. I'm going to tell you something, church. We better get ready. Amen. Amen. We better get ready. We better make preparations for his return. Israel's can pass them out with armies all around them. A place smaller than Texas, surrounded by armies. The Russians, the Chinese, we're moving right in there. Church, that's, 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 that's a big thing. Jesus said, when you see Israel come past the mountain with armies, he said, look up. When you hear wars and rumors of wars, look up. When you see famines and pestilence and divers places, I ain't talking about that little rat that grow. Pestilence. When you see all these things coming to pass, what are we seeing? What are we seeing with our own eyes? You don't even know who to vote for for president. You don't know who to choose. You don't know what to say. You don't know who to believe. Deceived. Unawares. Lie right to your face. Lie right on TV. Talk about how they're going to do this and do that. Talk about how they're going to do that and do that. Both of them. Both of them lies like dogs. Amen. Both of them had their own. That's why we got to pray, church. We got to pray. We got to earnestly pray and ask God to give us what we got to have to make it. People say they don't even need the Holy Ghost anymore. God, could you imagine living in this world without the Holy Ghost? Huh? And I ain't just talking about tongue talking. I'm talking about a true baptism. Amen. That's what's wrong with a lot of people. All they get hung up on is tongues. Amen. Paul said tongues was the least among the gifts. Amen. The Holy Ghost is a keeper. Let's lift our hands to the Lord. Let's lift our hands to the Lord. Amen. Hands to the Lord. How many wants to contend for the faith? Come on. How many wants to contend? Come on. How many's willing? How many's willing to fight for truth? How many's willing to stand for truth? How, how many of us? Oh, I've heard him say, I'm going to stand. I don't care what they do. They cut my head off. They cut my head off, and I'll serve the Lord. Huh? Will you? Will you? Do you have enough to stand? Do you have enough to stand before those when they call you out and say, deny the name of Christ? Do you have enough? Do you have enough? Do you have enough on the inside of you that when they come and you'll be hated by all nations? Huh? Do you have enough? Do you have enough? Do we have what it takes or are we just going through the motions? Come on, do we have what it takes? Do we have enough to stand in the evil day? Huh? Book said when you've done all you can do to stand, stand in your hand. Stand. Stand on it. Stand on it. Praise Lord. Well, tell you something, you ain't gotta prove God's real. Turn him loose and he'll prove yourself. That's right. Amen. You ain't gotta prove this way's the right way. Turn it loose and it'll prove itself. Huh? I've seen him be in one way for years and get the revelation and come and say, Will you baptize me in Jesus' name? Amen. Huh? Will you pray that God will fill me with the Holy? All you gotta do is turn it loose. And it will defend itself. I love the Lord tonight. Give him a big hand. Amen.